What's up, YouTube, and welcome to a first look at Deluvian Winds, a... What is it? This Colony Sim City Builder that recently came out the end of May. It is currently in early access. It is upwards to... Uh, it's about $18 US. Not bad. They have a roadmap for their early access. Uh, with quite a few, uh, you know, features, optimizations, and stuff like that. But they're planning to bring, like, sandbox, story difficulties, events, merchants, game content, um, aerial way, aerial species, more game content. So they're a little vague on a few of these things. But achievements, daily runs, and then they'll have their 1.0. So they, they have a lot of stuff they're planning to bring here. This game looked absolutely just really cute. <laughs> I'm a sucker for colorful stuff. I'm a sucker for like the management sim side of all this and so it uh it had my attention immediately. Thank you to the developer for checking give me a key to check out the game and show it off to you all. Uh, if you like what you see, you can find a link to the game down in the description. And well without further ado, we're just gonna dive on in. Don't forget though, make sure you like and subscribe. We've been sitting at about the same same area for the longest time now, so um, yeah, like and subscribe, it's important. Uh, normal introduction, bye. All right. I love the art style. It really did grab my attention when I first saw this game. That and then just like we're we're like a walrus. <laughs> Something about the anthropomorphic animals. <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing. I'm, I'm getting over uh, the flu. Hit me really bad this last this this week. I'm finally getting over it, but every now and then that cough comes through. So I do apologize. Everything you need to know to start your journey. Confirm. My lighthouse is a mess. This unhinged weather and the constant catastrophes keep destroying whatever we managed to build. What a life! In any case, there's nothing else for it. We must rebuild. Ah, too old for this. I'll wait for the next caravan. Let me know if I can help in the meantime. Please do not go far. The lighthouse tower is a safe place, and there's so much more, so much to do to ensure our survival. Um, okay. So, Wazd moves us around. Can come up here. That's. I really love the way the effect they created to do that. Fucking love it. I really do. It's cool. Okay, um... Ah! We should start by clearing out the debris. We'll need to recycle this wood. I can take care of it. Just let me know where to go. Uh, so, Elmer. Optimus, morale neutral, maximum morale satisfied. This traveler has no request new. Okay. Um... What am I supposed to do with you? Nothing? Clear a building. Well, now I'm, like, stuck. Okay. All right. Why was Waz working at one point, and now it's not? Fucking hell. I mean, do we hit that? Oh. See, I thought this is going to delete something. That, that's... All right. My bad. So I guess we'll delete that. I'll remove the debris. It should be done by this, af this afternoon. Every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale. If it ever reaches zero, I will have to rest and won't be able to help anymore. Evelyn. I see there's a greenhouse still standing. If you'll assign me to it, I'll forage for food there. Good idea. Reducing resources is survival 101. Alright. You go up here. I'll probably be done by the end of the morning. 
The production of resources is dependent on many factors. Morale, traveler, spices, species, weather. I keep wanting to say traveler, spices. It is your responsibility as the keeper to make sure the tasks get assigned efficiently. It's your home, after all. It seems everyone is busy. It's time to move on to the next phase of the day. Camera controls. Yep, okay, continue. Okay. So what does he want for the next day? Skip to the next morning. Is it space? All right. After work, it's time to rest. There's nothing better than a good binge to improve everyone's morale. The fuller the pot, the better we feel afterwards. Keep an eye on food reserves, however. It is always better to have some extra food saved up. A varied meal will give us different bonuses. Remember to mix up your ingredients and quantities. This flood is better with folks like you around. Your generosity deserves a feast. All right, you may fill the pot with the various edible resources you have in storage. Traveler morale will be affected by the amount of resources in the meal. The recipe and its effects will change depending on the ingredients you use. All right, well, we only have the one, so... I can't tell. Is that, like, happy... That is all it will allow me to put in there. Feast. Confirm. One plus five, a simple vegetable salad. Where are you going? What you doing? You're not going to bed. Where are you going? He's gonna come chill up here. Okay. <laughs> fire's as strong could be. This fire is the key to our survival. If I let it go out, travelers will not see the lighthouse, and it will become isolated from the rest of the world. Each day, the weather will have varying degree of impact on the flame. We can maintain the fire by giving its sources of fuel. However, the items used for fuel are also materials required to build and reinforce the village. Future probably holds some difficult choices for us. For now, however, we have enough wood to keep the fire going as strong as it can. All right, so we can feed the fuel, fire, boom, confirm. Okay. It won't go out anytime soon. Travelers will see it from far away. And here we go. So it's gonna it's foggy today. Or is today foggy? Yeah, today's foggy, I guess. It's day two. Uh, minus one to fire and minus three to morale. That sucks. Our next travelers are still a few days away, so no arrivals today. Let's tackle morning tasks. Right, what do we got for morning tasks? I think we need what do we need up here. to skip to the next morning. Is it not morning yet? What fucking time is it? I, I thought it was morning, but I guess not. <laughs> if I may make a suggestion, you do not have the means of wood production. I can take care of that if you'd like. Good idea. We have the ability to build a woodcutter's cabin. We travelers are looking for places to take refuge in during our journey. We come with different skills. Try to use us at our best. Let's build a woodcutter's cabin. All right. Blueprints, woodcutters. Hmm. Let's, I mean, I guess let's put it there. Right. Might as well. Got it. And what do you need? We should keep building up our food supply. Very well. I will wait for an assignment. All right, food supply still. So let's just go for it. Keep building it up. There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work.
Okay, so that is happy. No strength left and will automatically rest. Exhausted, good meal might perk them up. Good meal will make them feel great. The traveler is satisfied, which improves the resource protection. Happy, which greatly improves the resource protection. Okay. It's time for me to go back on the road. I shall be on the next convoy out of here. I'll check on you if I'm ever around here again. Thanks for your help. You're always welcome. Have a nice trip. You know what? Fucking enjoy it. Enjoy. You both worked very hard. Fire can already be seen far from far enough away that the next convoy will be here tomorrow. But it's sometimes smart to save resources. Okay, confirm. So that's why we get okay. So day is we're day two right now. So day three is just gonna be windy, violent wind on day four. Woo! Day begins. All right. See, so yeah, it's gonna be windy today, and then we'll have violent wind on day five. So is this the next three days then? So it's supposed to be foggy today, right? I don't. Know. They. I wish you. If you're gonna prompt like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Convoy just arrived as planned. Travelers looking for a rest, a refuge, or a meal will stay here for a few days. Let's welcome them as best we can. Uh, climate imbalance forces travelers to move constantly. A caravan of refugees will arrive in your hamlet from time to time. It's a bear. It's a fucking bear. With Elmer leaving, we have two available spaces. Who are the new visitors? Morgan? I mean, I guess we take both, right? Yeah. Let's see how we may help each other. Let's move on in the morning. Each traveler stays for a given time. When that time is up, they leave for the next caravan. They will continue to help you until that caravan reaches your hamlet. Alright. Well, just move to morning now. We got shit to do. Hello, everyone. I cannot work in any of our, your workshops. Don't you have some bears around? We don't. What is your specialty? We bears are experts in producing sex. Let me show you. All right, Bianca. You show me. Worm terrarium. Uh, we'll put you over here. All right. Workshops aren't the only thing setting us apart. All species have their own bonuses. We squirrels can produce more vegetables than anyone. See, so I must account for each of your characteristics to optimize what can you you can accomplish. All right, so Evelyn, I'm just gonna keep you gathering our food. Morgan, what can you do? Um, looks like we can have you doing this. The world of Diluvian Winds is home to many different animal species. Their respective knowledge gives them the ability to build different types of rooms. They also specialize in the production of certain resources over others. Alright. It's an interesting resource management game. Like, yes, there's a colony sim built in there, but like, really, like, once you've built and assigned them, like, you're done for the day, it seems. The recipes you discover and their effects are documented in the recipe book. <coughs> so we know that one. All right, make everybody happy. So it's going to be really windy. We're going to need to stoke this thing. Fire is strong and very visible, but it is going to be really windy tomorrow. Ah, uh, that 
that's going to use a lot of our wood. Let's go with that. Alright, so what do we got tomorrow? It's going to be violent winds on day 5 as well, and then we got rain. Alright. Hey, I'm building something. What would be the most useful for the community? We need wood. Vegetables would be nice, but I think... I think it's the biggest thing. I like insects. I will breed them. And I'm looking for traveling buddies. I would love if you sent me some to work with another traveler. All right. So Morgan. We're going to have you work here. Evelyn. I'm going to have you join. Since you want to work with buddies. Bianca. Let's go over there. And here we go. Of wood today, that's good. And now we have some insects, we can throw this into the pot. Make something different tonight. Let's add insects to the menu. Each dish has its own effects, so make sure to try out different ingredients and quantities to discover them all. Do that, do boom. Confirm. Vegetable plus seven, insect plus five, oil plus one, metal minus three. Some weather events will reduce the fire more than others. Careful with the wind. Good thing we got a ton of fire, because we will do that. I mean, a ton of wood. So it was nice to have the helpful helping hand there. Alright, we got rain for the next few days. More violent wind today. This is day five, right? Yeah, so today we have... Oh, it's just light rain. So it must have changed. Right. There's something down there below the water. We should improve the lighthouse's housing capacity. I could build some housing with the appropriate amount of wood. Great idea. I have a small supply of wood that can be used for this. Right. Housing. Where do we want houses? It's right here. The more housing the lighthouse contains, the more travelers it can simultaneously accommodate. This also means the more expensive everything is, right? Um. What can you build? A greenhouse? Okay, so you can build those. Do you want to work there? What do we need? We need food. Bianca. What else can you make? Housing. So, can you help with the one? No. But we could build another, but we need. I need food. We need food. It's just gonna have to be how it is. Hope the rain doesn't fuck our wood production too much. Alright. Do ten. Just keep it up. What remaining actions do I have? Oh. I find insects tend to proliferate at night in the woods. I can try catching some. 
Hmm. Come help up. Hunting all night. She seems happy. You want to help? I'm not going to say no. Like, <laughs> you think it's best, go for it. <laughs> Ooh, downpour. Natural disaster. Tidal wave level two. Fuck off. No. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the tidal wave. Nope. Oh, new caravan. Losing somebody. <sighs> Available housing three. Remaining reroll three. Storeroom would be nice. Maybe let's take that. Can we take them all? Is that what it's saying? Like, yeah, it's, just, it's saying take them all. I feel like this got. I, I think I'm growing too fast. Oh, they're leaving. But we do have one more. All right. If you change your mind, you can still click cancel button before entering the next phase and assign your traveler to a different task. Okay. The weather forecast isn't good. There will be a storm in the next three days, which may cause dangerous waves that come crashing against the lighthouse. Waves can vary in size, but the rooms closest to the ground are always most vulnerable. We must reinforce our rooms if we want to avoid losing them. It costs resources, but it's still better than going back to square one. Oh my god, this cough's killing me. The island regularly undergoes apocalyptic phases during which natural disasters will strike the hamlet. Such phases are shown on the weather display by a string of red forecasts with disasters. One or several disasters will manifest during an apocalyptic phase, the nature of which is shown on the weather display alongside the danger level. This information helps prepare the hamlet for it. Each phase ends with rainbow weather, which heralds the return of better days and grants several boons for surviving the bad weather. Fun! <laughs> Reinforce. Alright. We are going to need to reinforce that okay good this room now has an extra health point it could survive the next catastrophe I'm afraid for the bottom ones too um, you have a storeroom which I really want to build on top of but for now I gotta get these bottom ones ready right we need how are we on food Shit. I need wood. And I can't get any. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Bren, what do you bring to the table? Nothing. Work. Might as well go to the greenhouse. I didn't even think about... Wait, nope. I still could... I can redo this, right? Alright, so Bren... I'm gonna have you do that down there. You, I want you to gather. Okay. Keep the fire lit until day nine. All right, everybody. What are we gonna make tonight? That's all I got. Shit. We need to do wood. Wood gathering tomorrow. Alright, so we got heavy rain today. Or downpour tomorrow. Okay. 
today is all about. What is this? I love it. I'm interested to see what that's going to be all about. Okay. Some Morgan. Gather wood, because we need it. You're going to go help with that. We need food. And... Okay. I think that sets us up pretty good to deal with this disaster coming. We're fortified. We're ready, right? It's a birthday. It's Elliot's birthday. It might help morale if we cook them a nice extra meal for the occasion. Uh, okay. Happy birthday! <laughs> Alright. Fire's starting to go out. We got enough. We can really push this thing forward. And be ready for comes our task of All right. Keeper, would you join us for a little morning exercise? Come on, it will motivate you for the day. All travelers, vegetables, with two, a bit of singing. Let's go some wood like that. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's back to work. <laughs> Storm rages. This is our last chance to reinforce our weakest roots. All right. So that's what we will do today. Spend on reinforcement. All right, reinforce. That's what I said. Why can't I? Oh. I don't have the ability to. I don't have any metal. Well, fuck. <laughs> I guess we just collect, right? <laughs> That's what we do. Grab what we can. Expecting kind of a little bit more show here of this. I think you have all the knowledge you need. Good luck. Here it comes. Get 
All right. All right, not bad. He survived. And there's our rainbow. Light rain, heavy rain. Okay. Some are leaving. Some are coming. Available housing three. Oh, we're losing three. Okay. Um, so we'll just take them all. Or are we losing four? We are. We're losing four. Okay. All of this garbage was brought up by crazy weather. What if we collect and recycle it? Good idea. Let's start with the forest. Wooden insect. I don't like this. Yeah, I think that. Let's start with the forest. All right. I love how colorful it is. If you lack time or want to experience the game at a faster pace, you can tick the auto skip box above the wheel. Once the tasks of the day are finished, the game will automatically move on to the next day. I do like that idea. So days until the next caravan. Fire as strong as can be. Okay. All right. Brian, what you got for me, bud? What can you build me? I think we need to build another thing of housing. Right. Oscar. Pantry and Fisher's Cabin. Stores food. Now that would be nice to have. Cannot do it though. Um so we Good at fishing. Might as well just. Oh, see, I thought we'd be building it down here. Okay. Um... Olivia. What do I need from you? I need wood. for about another 15. Okay. We're good with that, so we're gonna keep that. And then continue. Chapter one. The sea needs some cleaning up. What are you looking at, Keeper? There's debris floating under the lighthouse. The view is very nice. I'm wondering whether we could go gather some of it and see what the sea gifted us. Careful, Keeper, that's dangerous. The waves crash with force and the rocks are really sharp. I know. Maybe with some sort of crane? Oh, nice idea. I'll take care of it. Don't go down there. There, we just need to gather the necessary resources. Great, let's get to work. <laughs> All right, light rain. This will be better, and I will actually have our little fishing thing done today, so that's 120 wood for that, huh? All right, I'll just confirm 10 to that. Um, okay, so we need wood. One of you is going to be really good at getting wood. Work-wise, who's the better one? All right, put you on wood. Oscar, what do you get? Fish out of that, Olivia. What are we doing? Um, 
pantry would be nice, but we need more wood. So let's double up on the wood. Okay, so what does that mean? Like, how many days they have left before they leave? So, we have some fish now, right? Okay, so fish gave us metal. Really doesn't do anything for me right now because we are not doing anything with metal. Um, what do we have tomorrow? It's going to be heavy rain. Fire minus two... One more bump up there. Okay. Oop. I've spent some time with other communities and I've seen them make offerings to the sea. Okay. I'm down for anything, right? I shall see. Ooh, and we're going to have blue skies. Nice. Which will be good vegetable days. All right, we're losing every three people, huh? But we're keeping two. All right, so we're losing one. Forgot I built more housing. So how's this working? All right. What's this? Keeper, someone left materials on the workbench. We'll go with the morale boost, right? Okay. So, Brian. We need more wood. We need a lot of wood. Olivia. Um, so, we're... It's a good fish day. Mark, you got a storeroom, which would be nice to actually build, right? We're actually going to do that here. Let's get that being built. And... I need you grabbing wood. Slowly putting wood into that. What else am I missing? Oh, there's one more person. Yeah. Insects is a minus five. We can go greenhouse. Could fortify just in case. Slowly start getting the... Yeah, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly start fortifying stuff. Can't reinforce it while it's in use. I don't have the ability to do that, though. I forgot. Okay. Um, let's just... Yeah. Let's scrounge up there. Strong and visible. I'm actually going to save my wood. It's going to be a sunny day. Right? Okay. So, today would be a good day for worms. We got a bear. You're really good at worms. That's plus 31 there. Okay. Olivia, let's see. What do we got going on here? Could build a pantry, which does food. Stores this extra food, which is important. It needs to happen. 
Um, I need I need two people on wood. It just has to happen. That's fifteen. Hold on. So that leaves one undecided. What can we send you to go do? We grab some more fish, I suppose. Vegetable and in insect curry. Ooh. Everybody's quite happy there. Oh, I forgot to put some wood into the uh, the net. Next day we'll do that. What does the weather look like for the next three days? We have blue skies. Okay, so fish will be pretty good. Actually, fish will be were less. Vegetables will be good. So rainy days is good for fish. may want to look at a building something here. Um, another greenhouse, maybe? I don't know. What do you got? Uh, the, the insect curry made him really little okay um have the pantry 30 there we go there Still good there, and I'm, I'm okay with that. We're about halfway. Ooh, downpour coming. Tidal wave level one. Uh-oh. I have some serious issues with that. <laughs> Primarily the fact that I have no metal. No way to prep for what is coming. Found this while clearing out some debris. I can keep it for myself or trade something else. Metal, please. I don't know what we got out of there. Fuck. Okay. All right. So it's a good day. You are going to sunny I guess that fish don't like the sun. And I gave you 
Something you didn't really like. Ooh, what buildings do you got? A garden? Fuck it. I want to see what the garden does, right? Okay. Um, we need wood. And we're going to need more wood. Ah, fuck. I could put the wood right in there. Oh, well. All right. Ratatouille with the slide of fish. All right, we'll do one more day, and then I think it's time to wrap up after that. All right, um, so it's going to rain tomorrow. Bump that up. We're really going to have to bump that up again. So we need wood this round. No request so far. That's good. Oh. Keeper, would you join us for a little morning exercise? Gladly. Let's go wood. All right. So. Mark. My friend. We need that. Fish. Worms. Reinforce. I can't reinforce anything. It's a problem. <sighs> We're going to lose some buildings. <coughs> I have no way around it. It's going to happen. We're going to lose buildings. I don't like it. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? one to everybody, so that's good. A little wet today, which I expected, so we'll put in 20 there. Alright, tomorrow's the, the big day. Horrible weather. Okay, we got new arrival. Uh, this will make us feel less powerless before the seas wrap. So, we got that. This shit's gonna get damaged. <coughs> Wonderful. Um, let's make them go fishing. Yeah. You, I want you to gather some wood. Liza. Morgan. About up there. Not gonna end well. <laughs> we'll survive. So that, that's good. Somebody's birthday? Otis's birthday. Alright, well we can afford it. We can afford vegetables to go. Bye bye. Alright. And we'll put... Well, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so we'll put one up on that. Okay. Here it comes. Let's see how bad this destroys my village. We're losing buildings. Unless that 
that single shield they have is like it actually protects it and then once the shields are gone it can be demolished that's what I don't know yet is the shield like an actual shield or is that like the last of it is that the last of its life we're about to find out Somehow the dock, totally fine. Woo! All right, so it looks like the uh, the shield is its life. So when there's only one left, we need to make this space sturdier. That's a blueprint. Well, I think it is. If you squint, it also looks like a very ripe banana. Can't even fully unfold it. I'll have to clean up this room before I look further into this. Alright, I want to see the extent of the damage, and then we'll wrap up for the day. I'm thinking that we need that we <coughs> and other travelers can dig into our personal supplies to help with the next meal. What is it you need? see some fish. I didn't need fish. I needed insects. <laughs> it didn't show me! Alright. Whatever. What did we get from operating this thing? Oh my god, yeah. It's just straight destroyed. Fuck. Fuck. All right, Fisher's Cabin. I need to clean. Like, what do we have? What do we need? Oh my God. I think we can get away with maybe one person working up here. I want something from this. We got some kind of barrels. So I don't have to make dinner tonight, then, right? You all are doing it? No. You just gave me the things to make it with. Okay. We'll go with a feast. Copious. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. <laughs> going to be... okay. Foggy. That's not, that's not the end of the world. Alright. Well, I don't know if I can save. Overwrite. Well, that is Diluvian Winds. I actually really enjoy this. This is easily one of those games like I I could play this till 2 or 3 in the morning and not realize that time has gone by. Um, we've been at this now for almost an hour and I did not feel like that at all. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw here, the link is down in the description. Like I said, it's about $18 US. It's an early access right now and this is pretty freaking awesome. I really like it. I like the, I like the way that they mask to resource management like just almost like an idler clicker really when you look at it kind of but it's I don't know it's interesting I am I enjoy the the way they played on this genre in this and it's a lot of fun so like I said link is in the description also make sure you check out indie-gems.com and until next time take care